Downtown Las Vegas loves to be the center of growth and new cool artsy things in Vegas, but Downtown Vegas has some new competition brewing. Henderson, Nevada, Vegas' second largest city and home to the Water District, is making news just about every single week with new announcements and cool ass spots that are opening up for us to enjoy. Let's check it out. Just about 20 minutes from the Las Vegas Strip and 30 minutes from Lake Mead, we're in downtown Henderson, which is the Water Street District. This is a product of the city's massive revitalization project that's going to be featuring a one mile stretch of land with thriving bars, entertainment venues, restaurants, cute little stores, casinos, and more. From brunch and tapas to breweries and coffee bars, here's how to make the most of your visit to Henderson's Water Street District. Okay, let's talk about what to do down here. Right behind me is Lifeguard Arena, which is the official practice facility for Henderson's minor league hockey team, the Silver Knights. Lifeguard Arena is not only a spot to watch hockey games, but also where you can catch the team practicing, learn to ice skate, participate in hockey leagues, or even book a freestyle figure skating session, which you know I'm gonna probably do. You can visit the livery for the official team merchandise or grab coffee from Public Works Coffee Bar. Water Street Plaza and Amphitheater is located just adjacent to the Lifeguard Arena, and that's really the center of the city of Henderson kind of entertainment destination, their premier place they want you to go. You can browse the online calendar for a variety of events that happen throughout the year, like concerts and festivals, sports viewing parties, farmers markets, and a lot of other really cool community programs. In addition to the intimate amphitheater, the plaza also has a playground and a splash pad for those youngsters, and a shady place where you can just chill out and rest. Poof, just like that, it's summertime, right? Full disclosure, we actually filmed this video about six months ago, but we lost some of the footage. So I came back down to Water Street today to re-record the sections that we were missing so that you could get the full view of what's going on downtown Henderson. So we're gonna talk about where to eat. Where to eat is a big part of your experience down here. And in the last six months, I'm gonna let you know that even since I wrote this script, even since I did my research, it has grown and completely evolved since then. So if you like food, definitely wanna visit downtown. Now let's talk about where to eat. So I'm not including all of the options. I'm just including a hand select few. You've got to do the research and come down here yourself and just explore. Every corner has a new place and every flavor palette is pretty much covered. First stop is going to be Biscuits and Bourbon right behind me. This is a really unique place, great breakfast spot that I know you're going to love. And honestly, when there are biscuits and jam flights on the menu, you can pretty much guarantee a good time over at Biscuits and Bourbon. That's certainly the case here for sure. They serve up smoked meats, sides, new American barbecue inspired entrees, and what's really cool is that this place was created by H2O Food Concepts, which is a restaurant group that consists of Henderson natives, and they've really made it their mission to revitalize this Water Street area. Next place is gonna be Chef Fleming's Bake Shop. This is a local family owned shop that has been open since 2008. Chef Fleming's takes a personalized approach to creating from scratch pastries and specialty cakes. Chef Fleming began his career in Denmark as an artisanal baker and the inspiration that he draws into this from his home country is reflected really in the cute little intricate desserts. You have to try a Danish Kringle or maybe a slice of their special cake. Everything they prepare is fresh daily and it's super, super awesome. Chinita's Tapas and Sushi is another really cool spot that fuses Mexican and Asian cuisines kind of into one. They offer sushi alongside tapas plates and it's super shareable with like kimchi chorizo, I don't know, miso mole chicken, tons and tons of really cool stuff to check out on their menu. You can also order a selection of sushi, sashimi, or nigiri as well if you just want to go. And if you go on Thursday evenings, they've got live music and cocktails, which is pretty awesome. Next on my list is Styx Tavern. Not only is Styx Tavern a sports bar with Le Cordon Bleu trained owner and chef Jordan Camacho, but it's absolutely a ghost kitchen to be frank, which is a hot dog delivery service here in town. At the end of the day, you can get the hot dogs there at the same time as well. But what I love about it is it's really close to the lifeguard stadium behind me. Makes it really convenient to stop over there before and after the hockey games or really just anything, anytime you want to be down here exploring, they're really, really convenient. Be sure to check out their burger with their six ounces of smashed beef with American cheese, and uh, they've got a locally made brioche bun that's pretty much to die for. And the last one on my list is Ristorante Italiano. You can tell I'm not Italian. Ristorante all'Italiano. Located inside the Pass Casino, um, it's a really charming restaurant that serves up really big portions at really reasonable prices, and that's all the way up and down the street. If you're craving like lobster ravioli or Madeira cream sauce or maybe a beef short rib, they've got it. I definitely want you to try their Aperol spritz as well. It's a specialty for them. This is the spot to visit when you're celebrating a special occasion and you're gonna be able to be welcomed by the chef himself and his super friendly crew. So that's where to eat. Now let's talk about where to drink. 
Okay, so you wanna know where to drink? Well, let's start with Love Lady Brewing, which is a family-based business with roots in Henderson. They're right behind me here. And it's really no surprise because of those family roots that they've actually made a huge commitment to give back to the community and those who visit. They've got 14 beers on tap that include a combo of flagship beers, year-round beers, and seasonal brews. And you can imagine that this spacious outdoor patio and all the cool taste that they're giving you, along with their giant Connect Four game or their shuffleboard, is gonna be a good time. Next up is Mojave Brewing Company. Mojave is a family-friendly brew pub with rotating cast of cleverly named beers, along with an impressive selection of hard ciders and seltzers. Formerly a bank, it's actually located right next to Biscuits and Bourbon, where we were just talking about. And Mojave Brewing has an indoor and outdoor seating experience, plus plenty of TVs and you know live sports experiences with all the stuff that you need. If you order their newest beers, they're gonna really give you a good deal, and they're always promoting something cool and something kind of flavorful for the season, so be sure to check those guys out. Gold Mine Tavern opened in 1965. That's the next one on the list. And it is Henderson's oldest freaking bar, which I love. It has a distinction of being on the top 50 Jamison venues, which is pretty cool. It's got a friendly vibe for the most part, welcoming crew, and a regular schedule of live weekend entertainment, which keeps the tradition of fun going all up and down Water Street. It's been a hot spot for a long time. Happy hours every day from three to seven, and Tuesdays are karaoke night, so if you're into that, come on down and check it out. The last spot is gonna be Public Works Coffee Bar. So whether you're in the mood for a pick-me-up or you just want something to kind of wind you down, Coffee Bar has you covered. They actually are an independently owned business that serves a variety of handcrafted coffees, a variety of teas, beautiful stuff like that, but they also do blended drinks. So you can swing down here and also check out their beer and wine menu, which is awesome. They also host gallery shows and local artists, lectures and things like that, as well as wine tasting. So be sure to check these guys out. Those are just a handful, just a few of the places to drink. So it does pair all well with everything else going on down here in Henderson. Be sure to remember that I am a realtor in Las Vegas and what I do is try to make sure you understand how awesome it is to live here. So if you're thinking about moving to Las Vegas or even considering it, click the link in the description or the pinned comment below. Let's talk about getting you from where you are to where you want to be, which is right here in my neon hometown of Las Vegas. I'll see you around.